The cats, though, like all pigs, are just very curious, um, stubborn for sure, animals, and they need, they, they're always looking for something to do, kind of like a child, a typical situation. And so I just put in a, a tennis ball and some soccer balls. Maybe she could have become a great soccer player, who knows? But she took a knack for the paintbrushes, and I'm not sure why. Um, I don't know if it was always meant to be in the greater universe, she was going to be this great painting pig, but um, it was just obvious that she had an interest for it and she wouldn't leave the brushes alone and she ne never ate the brushes, which was amazing because she ate everything else. And it was just nurturing that that talent through through positive reinforcement and it wasn't long before she was taking the paint and, and, and dancing across the canvas, you know, with this brush. Um, so Picasso likes to paint current affairs and we sort of, you know, had a bit of a discussion. She decided with all the publicity of Brexit to give her, you know, perspective on Brexit. So uh, the colours of the British uh, flag were chosen and um, this is basically the result of, of that painting and what's quite amazing about it is that if you look carefully, actually quite clearly, she almost writes the word Brexit. You can clearly see the X and the T and of course the I, um, all of course finished off with her signature which is a nose tip, um, sort of a, as she touches the, the, the painting with, um, it's actually beetroot and black ink. But that was that's one of our what, that's one of her special pieces, and it'll be part of her exhibition um, at the beginning of May. And we think that the Queen might be interested in this one. In total, she sold 18 original paintings. Uh, 11 are the Picasso Blacks, which is a Zen a Zen stroke of ink on on a um, on a 400 gram thick paper. But her big originals like this that are priced between 15 and 28 thousand, we've sold we sold seven and you know, half of those are to German and the rest American, one Australian. So, you know, it's a it's a global project and I and I think people just I mean that they're quite surprised how good the art is and how interesting it is. And of course all the proceeds go to our non profit organization to inspire compassion for for farm animals. Picasso was rescued from a, a pretty bad typical hog farm in the Western Cape mm. and she was rescued in May last year and um, I just, as part of the organization Farm Sanctuary SA, we wanted to have a few pigs at the sanctuary and so we basically went to a pretty bad farm and acquired these two pigs, Rosie and Picasso, on the same day. Picasso is really on a serious mission to paint a better picture for South African pigs on our typical industrialized pork farms. Uh, they live in merciless conditions that most consumers would find horrific if only they could see how these pigs are, are raised. And through her painting, she hopes to inspire consumers to think a little bit differently, to eat a little bit differently, and ultimately to cultivate a better world for all of us.